So hello guys and in this video because it's a very exciting video and maybe the first of its kind that you can see in the YouTube you will use AI to plan activities for a software development project. So how will we do is we will just come into our Google Chrome and come to ChatGPT. If you don't know what is ChatGPT you can just come into google.com and in here write ChatGPT and the very first result that you get that would be this open AI chat GPT you can just right click and open and once you do you will get this command line and what we'll do is we will just write uh, please provide me the activities that can be used in software development for a primavera project and we can always also just come in here and just write an atypical software development because at this point i don't know what is the type of software that i'm developing so i will just write a typical software development just to get an idea of the activities for uh, the planning software and in here i have written the primavera software but i will end up using the project library because that is an open source alternative to primavera or the microsoft project so with this query you can just click and add click it and get your results now i've already uh, done this query in here and i've done much more than that so we'll just come in here and check this query and you will also write these results in your uh, chat gpt and you may not get these same results because it's an open ai software and it doesn't give you the same result for the same query it is uh, just making it on the go but hopefully you will get something like that when you write your query if not i can uh, provide you all the files uh, in my uh, attachments if you want you can just comment it and i will provide them so uh, with this query i've written it that's right most common typical activities for any software development work that one can put in primavera activities and assign duration and resources to it so with this, it just gave me all these project initiation, requirement gathering, design phase, development, integration, documentation, training, deployment, post deployment support, <coughs> excuse me, and the project review and closure. So what you have to do is now you can just come in to your project planning software. For me, it is the project library and end up uh, creating a new project. It's called, called it software development press OK and now you have got these activities here uh, on, the, uh, on this, at this side and the Gantt chart on this side but you, it's empty because now you fill it you just write software development here and once you do that you have to put all these activities now so one easy way to keep looking it and putting it there just open them side by side by uh, dragging one window like this it was so how was it earlier let me do it again it was like this so just drag this window and when it comes out just push it towards the uh, right side and it will come here now on the left side you will get something like this and you can just press the software development so now with this you can just copy these activities here Keep on copying this and then similarly keep on copying all these activities and once you do end up copying all these then we will assign the duration to this project so <clears throat> for this case because this is the major activity and these are the work breakdown structure activities of this I main WBS activity so we'll just select these guys and come to the task command and click indent so it will come here and then we'll click leg then on this side because it says it's the five days duration and we also anticipate the task provided to us is also a uh, five days task where we can just start for the activities and define the scope identify stakeholders and allocate resources so we'll just give it something like one here two here and two here so this will <coughs> be how you put one of the 
WBS activities. Now for the remaining activities, you can keep on putting them there, just like the way I did. Keep on putting it there and at this duration, you will end up very, very full uh, project planning activity schedule. Now I have already prepared it, so I will just open it and I will just open this file and come to the software development cycle and open. So this is all the activities that I chose from this side and put it from this side from the creativity activities and I ended up putting them here as these activities with where it is project initiation, requirement gathering, then it's the design phase which is very important phase, the most, most important and I think the most time consuming part it would be the development phase where you will write a code and then you will implement, you will implement and uh, you will also fix the bugs in that code. So for this part, I think uh, one thing that's left there that I didn't discuss, it's the predecessor. So I know that the, when the project is initiated after that, uh, it will be a requirement gathering. So requirement gathering will only start once the project activities are completed. So I will just write five here where this five is actually denoting this allocate project resources and create a project team. So once that's done, that is the predecessor and we will keep on adding more predecessors or the successors as per our project requirement and we can also discuss it later. So with this, you can also uh, briefly look at the resources that we used in this project and all these resources will also taken from the chat uh, GPT file where I just asked it to provide resources for these activities and their estimated hourly usage and it provided me a brief estimate where it says for the initiation part, you can take project manager, business analyst, subject matter, uh, expert, and then for the requirement gathering, design phase, development phase, integration, uh, documentation and training, and the deployment, post-deployment, and review. So for all these activities, I just put these activities uh, in the form of the resources of by naming all the resources here and giving them your standard rate right here. And uh, we can also discuss them uh, in detail in the next videos uh, how do you, how did we use these resources and how did we assign these resources to this project but for now i think that is enough to tell you the power of a ai software that can can actually plan an entire project and then also one last thing we can also kept uh, going and check the cost of this project so if you can uh, go to this dialog boss project and uh, check the project uh, development software development you can see that the cost of this project was uh, 267, 263711, so it's a very huge project and also huge considering that it took almost 2817 hours or you can also see that this project featuring it again chart it took 189 days so for that amount of uh, work this has to be a very huge software development uh, project and this was done completely using this chat GPT and AI so an open source software to completely go to the project cycle from the uh, planning of activities all the way to the costing of this project was done using AI. So this is it guys and uh, we can also go in a bit detail in the next videos about how we assign resources but for now I think it's enough and we'll see you on the other side. Thank you.